Hello everyone, welcome back to Nomo Studio. So in this video, ay sasagutan po natin ang 10 item practice questions na ito about cognitive reasoning. At ito po ay part ng entrance examination, career service examination, or any government examinations. So without any further ado, simula na po natin. Question number 1. What is the next term in the sequence? 2, 4, 8, 16, and blank. Is it 24, 32, 36, or 40? Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to answer. Ang technique lang po dito is tingnan natin or i-observe natin kung paano nakuha yung second term using the first term at paano naman natin nakuha yung third term using the second term and so on. In short, titingnan natin yung pattern. So kung titingnan po natin, dinoble lang yung first term to get the second term and so on. So in this case, 2 times 2 and that is 4. 4 times 2 and that is 8. 8 times 2, and that is 16. So, 16 times 2, and that is 32. So, the answer is letter B. Next, question number 2. What is the next term in the sequence 25, 36, 49, 64, and blank? So, feel free to pause the video at i-observe nyo po yung pattern. And as what we can observe, all these numbers are perfect square. So, ibig sabihin nito, the answer should also be a perfect square. So, if we try to get 5 squared, and that is 25. Ibig sabihin, 5 times 5, 25. 6 times 6, 36. 7 times 7, 49. 8 times 8, 64. So, ito, 9 times 9, or 9 squared, and that is 81. So, letter C. Next, number 3. What is the next term in the sequence 5, 9, 17, 29, and blank? Feel free to pause the video and observe the pattern. So, if we try to observe, kaya naging 9 yung ating second term kasi dinagdaga natin ng 4, C5. At naging 17 naman ito kasi nagdagdag lang tayo ng 8 dito sa ating second term na 9. At kaya naging 29 yung ating fourth term kasi nagdagdag tayo ng ilan? Ilan yung dinagdag natin sa 17 para maging 29? Yes, 12. Now, observe nyo po yung pattern. Dito nagdagdag tayo ng 4 para maging 9 ito. At nagdagdag naman tayo dito ng 8 para maging 17. At dito naman 12 ang dinagdag natin para maging 29. So ilan kaya ang idadagdag natin kay 29 to get the next term? So tingnan muna natin yung mga numbers na dinagdag po natin. We have 4, 8, 12. So ano kaya ang kasunod? Tingnan nyo po, multiples of 4. So ibig sabihin nito, 4, 8, 12, and 16. So, ibig sabihin nito, 16 pala ang idadagdag natin kay 29 to get the next term. So, 29 plus 16, and that is 45. So, the answer is letter C. Okay, so now let's proceed with number 4. What is the next term in the sequence? AC, EG, IK, MO, and blank. Is it QS, ST, UV, or WX? So, as what we can observe, nag-skip ng isang letter. So, dito, A, B, C. Dito naman, E, F, G. At dito, I, J, K, M, N, O. So, observe po natin yung first letter of the second term at yung second letter of the first term ay nag-skip din ng isang letter, C, D. At dito naman, nag-skip sa H. At dito, nag-skip sa L. So, after O, 
skip mo na tayo kay P, Q na. So, Q, skip R, S. So, Q, S. And the answer is letter A. So, kinakailangan po talaga sa actual na examination, ay tingnan mo yung pattern. Titigan mo. Kinakailangan talaga is matanglawin or matinik ka. Ang mahalaga lang naman po dito is madali mong mas pat yung pattern. Kasi kapag nakuha mo na ang pattern, madali mo lang masasagutan yung ganitong klasing mga tanong. Okay, next, number five. What is the next term in the sequence C, B, G, F, and blank? Is it K, J, I, or H? So, ang teknik lang po dito is i-list down muna natin yung mga alphabet para mas madali po nating mas pat yung pattern. So, in circle lang po natin yung mga given sequence. We have C, B, G, F. So, observe nyo po. B, C, tapos nag-skip ng dalawang letters. F, G, so ibig sabihin lamang nito, we need to skip another two letters. So, we have our first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, and lastly, sixth term. Pero ang hinahanap lang natin is yung fifth term, kasi ito po yung blank. So, the answer is letter A. Next, number six. What is the next term in the sequence 1.2, 2.1, 3.0, 3.9, 4.0? Blank. Feel free to pause the video and try to answer this question. Ano kaya sa tingin niyo ang sagot dito? Observe niyo po yung bawat term. Tingnan niyo kung may pattern or wala. So ano kaya ang idinagdag natin kay 1.2 para maging 2.1 yung ating second term? Yes, tama. 0.9. Kasi 1.2 plus 0.9 and that is 2.1. So, itry po natin, magdagdag din tayo kay 2.1 ng 0.9. So, 2.1 plus 0.9, and that is 3.0. And 3.0 plus 0.9, and that is 3.9. So, ibig sabihin pala nito, we need to add 0.9 kay 3.9 para makuha natin yung kasunod na term. So, 3.9 plus 0.9, and that is equal to 4.8, and that is letter C. And again, this is an arithmetic sequence. Ibig sabihin nito yung 0.9, yun yung common difference. Yun yung nagbibigay sa atin ng hint kung ano nga ba yung next term. And we have the formula in finding the next term of an arithmetic sequence. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. And by the way, meron na po tayong video about arithmetic sequence. Tingnan nyo na lang po sa ating video description for the link of the video. Anyway, let's proceed with number 7. What is the next term in the sequence g7, l12, q17, v22, and blank? As what we can see, meron na po tayong combination of letters and numbers sa ating sequence. Ang teknik lang po natin dito is unahin muna nating hanapin yung pattern kay letters bago sa numbers. Kumbaga, isa-isahin po natin. So, again, i-list down muna natin yung mga letters in the alphabet para mas madali po nating mas pat ang pattern. So, we have G, L, Q, and V. So, observe the pattern. We have G, tapos we skip four letters. L, after ni L, nag-skip na naman tayo ng four letters. Q, then four letters ulit ang na-skip natin. Then V, so after pala ni V, we need to skip another four letters. So, ang ibig sabihin pala nito, the next letter in the sequence is letter A. Kasi apat na letter na after V. We have W, X, Y, and Z. So, babalik na tayo sa first letter in the alphabet. Ngayon, dalawang letters na lang po ang pagpipilian natin. Either A or B. 
So, crash out na si C and D. And as what we can observe with the numbers, 7 plus 5, that is 12. 12 plus 5, that is 17. 17 plus 5, and that is 22. So, ibig sabihin nito, we need to add 5 kay 22 to get the next term. So, 22 plus 5, and that is 27. So, the answer is letter A. So, next question number 8. What is the next term in this sequence? Medyo mahirap po siya kasi dalawang letters na at isang number for every term. Pero madali lang yan once mas pat na natin yung pattern. So, let's try to observe the first letter of every term. E, H, K, and N. Ano po ang napapansin ninyo? Yes, tama. Nag-skip lang ng two letters from E to H, from H to K, and lastly from K to N. Ibig sabihin lamang po nito, we need to skip two letters also from N to our next term. So, N, O, P, Q. So, Q is the first letter of our next term. At kung titingnan naman po natin sa ating mga choices, lahat sila nagsisimula sa Q. So, we can't eliminate choices yet. Ngayon, tingnan naman po natin yung second letter ng bawat term. R, V, Z, and D. And as what we can observe, nag-skip lang po ng three letters every term. R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D. At nangangahulugan din po ito na mag-skip din tayo ng three letters from D to our next term. So, D, E, F, G, H. So, H is the second letter of our next term. So, the answer is letter A, Q, H, 7. Okay, next, question number 9. What is the next term in the sequence 2, 6, 24, 120, and blank? Again, observe muna natin ang behavior ng mga numbers na ito. Kung paano natin nakuha ang second term using the first term, at paano naman natin nakuha ang third term using the second term, and so on. Ngayon, as what we can observe, Magmultiply tayo ng 3 sa ating 2 na first term to make 6. Ibig sabihin nito nakuha natin yung second term by just multiplying 3 sa ating first term. At ano naman kaya ang multiply natin sa 6 para makuha natin si 24 na third term? Yes, tama. 4. 6 times 4, that is 24. So nakuha natin si third term by just multiplying 4 sa ating second term. Ngayon, ano naman kaya ang multiply po natin sa 24 para makagawa tayo ng 120 na 4th term? Yes, tama. 5. Since 24 times 5, that is 120. At this point, nakikita na po natin yung pattern. 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin, nagmultiply tayo dito ng 3 to make 6, nagmultiply tayo sa 6 ng 4 to make 24. Nag-multiply tayo sa 24 ng 5 to make 120. So, ibig sabihin, mag-multiply tayo sa 120 ng 6 to make this fifth term. So, 120 times 6 and that is equal to 720. So, the answer is letter D. Okay, so now let's have our last question. B -A -C -Z -D -Y EX. Ano kaya ang next term ng sequence na ito? And by the way, hindi ko na po sasagutan yung uh, item na ito para kayo po ay makapag-practice. Feel free to comment your answer below. And if you want to have a PDF copy of this, just check the video description for the download link. At kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Keep learning everyone, stay safe, bye for now.